You look as scruffy. You both look as scruffy. Bless me with the look when you pass me Know the same look when we get nasty Don't think you wanna put nothing past me It's you since you came over last week You fucking with my mental lastly You were mature, no, you ain't know that I was pulling up It's cause you get around them niggas and I like you function of beauty hair care products for coily hair i washed it in the shower and it lathered very very well and it didn't feel super drying now i did not detangle my hair beforehand or section it so it made it a little difficult because with type 4 hair coily hair y'all know and if it's super thick them sections save lives okay part of your hair in sections so this side, I have put the conditioner on. It has some slip to it. It does, I must say. Once again, hair wasn't really detangled, so it was a little more elbow grease I had to put in. But this side, I did detangle, and there's no conditioner. So I wanted to show you guys what it's like on type 4 hair, which I know there's a bunch of people who have already done reviews, but this is my vlog. <laughs> I'm just fine. But this is my vlog, and I I don't think I've ever really done any video where I'm like showing some of my wash process, but let's do this. Let me show you guys what the conditioner is like. I do have a water spray bottle because I have been out the shower for a little bit. So I'm just gonna like re-wet it. But if I was fresh in the shower, you know, if I was doing this in the shower, it would be more wet. But let me show you guys. I have one bar, that's awesome. This vlog is gonna be kind of a little self-care little vlog, I guess, because I'm washing my hair and then tomorrow we get our nails done, which I don't think I'm gonna do a montage because I recently just did that, but I'll show you guys after I get it done. And then I'm also getting waxed this week. So it'll be kind of a little self-care vlog, but also just a regular vlog because we are going to New Jersey next Thursday for my sister's baby shower. I'm so excited. Of course, I'm bringing you guys along. This is the texture. It's pretty thick. So let's go ahead and apply this on the hair. It smells really good too, y'all. I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the way it's making my hair feel. A lot of shampoos really dry out my hair, so I was happy that this one wasn't. And the conditioner feels really good too. I use um, Alicia Leal Hair Wood. I don't know, but this is the detangler that I use. Ooh, y'all see that? Wow. Straight 
through pretty much. A little plain over right there. You always want to start from your ends and work your way up the hair shaft to prevent breakage and to also prevent it hurting <laughs> so that it doesn't hurt as much also. So, wow, I'm, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I don't know if I want to add some more. I mean, I feel like I really probably don't need that much more, but y'all saw that? Period. <laughs> So it has a little more, but that's because I was struggling in a daggone shower, so I was adding more product to it. Wet it a little bit more. Just add moisture. Helps with that slip, you know. Doing my hair is literally like a two day task, for sure. I am pleased. Hold on the back, you know, that middle, that middle of that head be, be a little, be a little chick. You start right here, work our way up. Hold on now, wait a minute. This is me being super real. Cause people be doing these hair videos and they be acting like it's just such a breeze. Like, be for real. You know, be struggling too. <laughs> anyway, there we go. All right, now she could. We just have to work them ends and then come on up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, this is the reality of natural afro textured hair, especially when it's not all curly and, you know, product easily penetrates and moves through the hair and glides and all that stuff. So here we go. I'm about to just twist it up and put some conditioner in the back section and rinse it out. There we go. Y'all see that? So this is it. Not bad. Nice and thick. Product is nice and thick for my thick hair. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hair segment. <laughs> I'm gonna put the dish on back, rinse it out, blow dry it and all that, and I'll be back, I think. Cause I do gotta go to work tomorrow and I got a lot of stuff to do around here. We'll see. <laughs> Thursday. We are headed to the nail salon. I just got off of work. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what's going on. Life has been lifey. I'm still trying to balance this new routine and schedule. Once I get that down, I'll have some routine videos and stuff because I need to get in a routine anyway. Good night routine and a good morning routine. Once again, I reiterate the night routine sets you up for the smooth morning. You know, I don't know what color I'm gonna get. I feel like I want blue because my sister's having a boy, and I mean, like a nice little baby blue <laughs> for the blue. I mean, for the baby boy. <laughs> anyway, so I think I want to get like a pretty blue color, and she wants us to wear cream, so I think that'll be pretty up against the cream. She said I could do cream and maybe little specks of brown. I was like, girl, this is not your wedding. 
I'm just teasing, but I still gotta find a cream outfit, y'all. I'm so tired. I've been going to bed late all week. Tonight, I need to get my nails done and take my bond to bed. That's exactly what I need to do. No lollygagging, no none of that. I haven't gotten any editing done this week. And I wanted to drop a video this weekend. But Friday, I think I might just edit all day Friday when I get home from work. Oh, I gotta text my wax lady. We not getting waxed no more because my cycle started, so there's that. But I think I'ma still get um, my eyebrows cleaned up. We still gotta figure out a hotel or Airbnb. It's just a lot of moving parts to this trip. Traveling is a lot, no matter what. But anyway, enough of me yapping and carrying on. I don't wanna talk y'all heads off, so I will show you guys my nails after we get them done. This is how they turned out. Hold on, let's see. I hope you can see, it's like this blue color. I stopped by South City Kitchen because I'm not cooking when I get home. I got their fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and collard greens. And then I saw they were serving little breads. So I asked them, could they put some bread in the bag? Whoa. I mean, this right here? Mm-mm. And then the cornbread, oh my God. Mm, mm. The bread is this good? Mm. That food better not miss. Cause they didn't even let me place the order to go. I had to sit in there and wait. So this better be some of the best fried chicken I ever had. I know they have a location in Midtown right now. I'm at the Avalon and Alpharetta. And I used to drive past them on the Midtown all the time and it always was packed. It seemed like a cool time. Based on this bread, I hope it holds up. We are back home and it is the moment of truth with this chicken. How do we feel about the puff? It's a lazy one too. I just threw it up this morning, no gel, no nothing. Anyway, oh, it still feels warm. But I wonder if it's crunchy still. Oh, still got a little crunch to it. Hmm. This is what it's giving. Looks pretty good. Oh, they cut it in half. Okay. Definitely seasoned. I didn't think it was gonna be this seasoned. Um, I, I didn't. It's just, it's good. Mm. The crunch is there. Could have gave your girl a little more chicken. Let's try out the mash. Okay. The mash is good. I feel like I need some salt. But I don't know if that's what they were going for because they have a sweetness, a sweet butteriness. So maybe that's what they were going for. Or maybe if you eat it with the chicken, because the chicken is real seasoned, it will balance that out. Hmm. Let's try the greens. Oh, there's this drizzle that came with it. I'm probably not gonna use it, but this is actually good. This is way better than what I thought it was gonna be. Mmm. It's like a, if you wanted to have like a sweet and savory situation going on. Oh, let me drizzle a little bit on chicken, just a little bit. I don't really like my chicken sweet. Yo, this meal good as hell. This meal is good. Oh my God, I'm so shocked right now and it's still warm and I drove like 30 minutes to get home. Mmm, they get my approval. I will go back here. Oh, the bread. I forget about the bread. Oh my God. Give us the 
grass-fed grassland butter with it salted butter and then y'all they gave us how cute a little honey jar and a strawberry preserve a strawberry preserve you know when something that good you just need to sit down and eat it yeah because this gotta digest before i lay down so whew. i hope you guys enjoyed hanging with me a little bit today i'm gonna eat this get ready for bed i'll talk to you guys tomorrow Okay, so, y'all, the hair. I'm so not used to wearing my hair like this anymore. Do it look wild and crazy? <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> it's not bad as you think it is. Okay, so, hmm, I didn't feel like putting it in the puff because it would be a headache after a while. No, I understand. He seemed worse. So, mm, yeah, y'all. Yeah, anyway, so moving not on. Bad. But that answer was like, I said this look bad. You said I've seen worse. Because you, when you saying that it's that it feels that it looks like it's bad, I'm like, well, no, I've seen worse. Maybe it's not okay. bad. Think it is. All right. Anyway, <laughs> today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. It's probably loud because this ground is loud. y'all it is saturday i didn't vlog yesterday because i was tired we are at perimeter mall because we're looking for a cream outfit for my sister's baby shower i hope we can find something easily quickly we're gonna go to zara first and then kind of branch out from there so yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all hopefully i can show you guys some stuff in the fitting room and all that but we'll see because it is saturday and the malls be crazy if you hear something loud that's marcus eating like he hasn't ate before his oatmeal now i'm joking he's being more quiet today than normal <laughs> i will put you on camera right now but you're just looking a little too crazy right now so yeah don't tell me to eat i'm not i'm you period look at you oh okay you're talking about me <laughs> you looking scruffy you both looking scruffy <laughs> I'm looking scr Yo, the shade has been so real this morning. If I kept the other clips in, y'all gonna hear the other shade he said. Like, come on, like, don't start that shady stuff again. Because Mara they will eat you up. Mara yeah. will understand? Yeah, Mara got my back, man. What's up, Mara? <laughs> Mara, what is he talking about? Hold you know up. that between me and Mara, man. Not between me and Mark. But we both mm, love you though. That's the point. Okay. We both love you. I'm gonna call Mark. Call back. I'm about to call Mark because what what is this he's talking about? The window, babe. Mark about to get a collar for me because what is he talking about? The shade, like hold Not up. even no shade. Let's see, you better answer me too. Probably busy. He probably busy. He not answering me. Okay. He'll call you big. <laughs> He'll call you big. <laughs> he said he he in church. Uh huh. Don't play on me. Why? All right. Let's go in this mall. These are some of the things that I found. So let's try them on and see. Okay, so this is the first dress. It's not it. It's giving first lady. And I'm ashy, as always. We don't like this one. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, this one is another from me. Okay, I like this one, y'all. 
is a giving rich auntie. I'm trying to be the rich auntie. thinking guys what are we thinking I'm gonna try on the small though this is a medium I feel comfortable and just classy and elegant yeah Sunday reset I guess I didn't do all of the showing all of the well <laughs> all I've really been is in this kitchen kind of doing like meal prepping and cleaning up a little bit trying to organize the fridge in some way I'm still learning the fridge and how I want things and I still have to order containers and stuff like that because I'm very much into things looking pretty in one accord and aesthetic I kind of hate that word now because it's so it's used so much but I'm very much an aesthetic girl. I like everything to look symmetrical and the same, but I wanted to catch you guys before the sun went down. What did we do today? We just went to the grocery store and then I came home and started, well, I had a moment, ate a little snack and then came in here and started putting stuff away, cutting stuff up. I think most people who work a nine to five know that when you prepare stuff in advance, it helps out tremendously for a smooth morning. Baby, I need things set in stone tonight because the morning time, I be looking crazy. I be looking like a chicken with my head cut off. Just what? Like stuff that I think gonna take five, 10 minutes because I wasn't prepared and you know how things go. It took a whole extra 20, 30 minutes. Now I'm 
racing doing 80 down 20. I don't like rushing. I don't like the feeling of being rushed, so I need to do better. Point blank period. That's pretty much what's been going on. I don't really know how this vlog looks, but hopefully it looks like something. <laughs> it's just, I guess, a realistic vlog, a realistic week in my life of someone who works and be tired and sometimes go to bed late, so don't have the energy to really give everything on camera, but I show up when I feel the best or when I feel like it's something you guys would like or be interested in. I'm giving y'all my best and I hope my best is good enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm about to, ooh, is that crumbs on my face? More than likely. <laughs> I'm about to make a few juices real quick and then I'm gonna make dinner. Marcus is gonna make the chicken breast. He wants to do like a smoky barbecue-y kind of vibe. So we'll see what he comes up with. And for size, I'm gonna just saute some kale dinosaur kale and make a real light macaroni and cheese we're not doing the extra all the heavy butter and heavy cream well we are going to use heavy cream but it's the plant-based one plant-based heavy cream inside joke my real ones if you know you know <laughs> but we are going to use some heavy cream um, and some butter but i'm not going to do a whole bunch of cheese you know what i mean like that whole thing it's going to be cheese it's going to be good but it's going to be light a light macaroni and cheese <laughs> my battery's about to die all right i will come back on here and i will show you guys dinner after we make it because I, I, I need a little break from recording and you know i want it to be redundant food food food, food. maybe i'll show you guys me plating it or something like that all right talk to y'all soon <laughs> This is what we looking like. Looks delicious. I tasted some of the macaroni and cheese. It's one point, okay? Yes. And the uh, the greens, they're on point too. So yes, this is dinner. We are about to eat dinner, watch a little something, and then get ready to go to bed and go to work. I am gonna end the vlog here. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can keep up and know what's going on with your girl. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.